Hey guys, so this week I've been playing Warhammer 40k Space Marine, which if you don't know is a game based on the Warhammer 40k uh, franchise. It's a big uh, turn-based uh, tabletop game where you paint the models and stuff. They've done a couple of games, uh, but this is the first one in a long while, and it's Space Marine. Uh, it's kind of a big deal if you're into Warhammer, which I'm I'm not into Warhammer, but I have a lot of friends into Warhammer, so like I know a lot about the, the universe through second hand, uh, so it's interesting to play through the actual universe and see how much uh, they got right, at least according to my second hand knowledge of it. But, but anyways, here it is, Warhammer 40k. Is it any good? Is it just some crappy Gears of War ripoff that uh, really shouldn't have been made? Or is it something unique, something that stands out? Or is it just a really good game? Well, here's my opinion of Warhammer 40k Space Marine. Warhammer 40k Space Marine is a game set in the massive Warhammer universe. The story of the game centers around the Ultramarines, which are basically, as they sound, the biggest badasses in all the Space Marine army. This forge world that builds these big old titan thingies that you kind of need uh, is invaded by orcs, and you and two other Space Marines are dropped in to see what you can do to try and stop the invasion. You're kind of outnumbered like a billion to one, but those are good odds for an Ultramarine. The gameplay is a mix of both melee combat and shooting dudes. There are a couple of different guns that you use throughout the game. You can carry about four at a time, but uh, there are certain slots that only can hold... Like, they, you can only have, like, one pistol, but there's, like, two types of pistols, and you get, you know, your submachine gun, and you get sort of a laser sniper rifle, and all the kind of really interesting standard weapons. And you can also equip a melee weapon, which can be, like, an axe, or a hammer, or a freaking chainsaw sword! And it is incredibly satisfying to beat an opponent down and then do a, a quick finishing move where you chainsaw sword them in half or all this stuff. It's very violent and visceral and fun. The game's pretty good about pacing the enemies that it throws at you. It starts out as just kind of like the mindless orcs who are like, Wah! but then you get like orcs with guns and then orcs with rocket launchers and progressively different and tougher enemies. Your character also gets more powerful as you go along as well. You get shield upgrades so you can have a stronger shield capacity, and eventually you get fury. Once you get it, your character has this fury meter that as you kill guys, it fills up. And once it's full, you can unleash your fury and, you know, be a total killing monster badass. All your melee attacks become supercharged and killing dudes uh, increases your health. And when you pull out your guns to shoot, you kind of go in, in a bullet time so you can take out a lot of dudes really precisely in a short period of time. It didn't take very long of me playing this game before I realized just how much fun I was having. All the guns work really well and you shoot and aiming and all of that's perfect and the melee, it's flawless. You know, you hit the button, the guy hits the thing, I don't feel like the controls, you know, ever screw up or I'm not doing what I intend to do. You feel it w runs perfectly and just fighting through the hordes of enemies, you know, shooting a bunch of guys, throwing a grenade and it explodes and then jumping in with your chainsaw sword and just going rah, 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 it just, it's fun. The graphics as well, which I normally don't mention, are, are really good as well. You would expect for like a smaller title this wouldn't be as good, but it looks really good as a game. I mean, the, the character design and all of it just looks great. The only real downside is it doesn't look all that unique because clearly this is a massive ripoff of StarCraft II. Hail. It's about time. All kidding aside, it does feel a little samey because it's it's obviously orcs and space marines. We've seen a lot of this before, but that's because Warhammer invented all these things. But despite all that, it, it looks really well, it plays really well, and it's got multiplayer, which is not, uh, you know, whatever. It's not that the multiplayer is not fun, it just, it's deathmatch, capture the point kind of stuff, and you're a space marine shooting chaos space marines, which are pretty much the same thing. I mean, it doesn't do anything outrageous. You're not like, oh my god, have you tried this multi... It's kind of the same stuff that we've done, but it's... it. If you're one of these people that needs the multiplayer mode, it's got one that's pretty good. I have to say, I was really surprised with this game. I, I wasn't expecting to fall in love with it. I thought maybe it'll be a good game, you know, I kind of like Gears of War, so maybe I'll kind of like this. But I was actually really surprised. It works really well. Uh, it just, it's perfect. It, it works the way it's supposed to. It's not its not buggy. Uh, the shooting feels great. The chainsaw sawing and axing and all this, everything about it, all the elements come together and it's finished. It's a very well polished game. Uh, very interesting storyline. It's a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting to have as much fun, but I remember sitting there going, Wow, this is actually fun. So it's really enjoyable. Uh, the, it's got multiplayer that's that's fun. It doesn't do anything, you know, out of the world uh, 
know, different, you know, you might enjoy the multiplayer, you might forget about it in a couple of months, at least the multiplayer side, but the campaign is great, I, I want more, I want them to, I want enough people to buy this so there'll be more, unfortunately, it's coming out in a time when the next, like, three months, there's so many games coming out, so I think this one will probably fall off people's radar, but it shouldn't, at least, if you don't pick it up now, uh, wait, you know, after the big, you know, uh, winter, you know, Christmas boom, Pick this up later, because it'll probably drop in price a little bit. Uh, but it's totally a really good game that you should pick up after the big like rush of, Oh my god, Skyrim, Gears of War, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3 kind of stuff. <laughs>